Every May 4, Blessed Santa Sabatini, an Italian university student who belonged to the Paul, uh, John Paul XXIII church community and who was beatified in October uh, 2021, is commemorated in a seminary presided over by them, perfect on the congregation now the Casteri for the causes of the saints. Cardinal Marcelo Semerano. Cardinal Semeraro called Sandra Sabatini an artist of charity, and that is what Sandra was, a gift with very special genuity and creativity conditions that she put at the service of those she called the last, the poor and vulnerable, those who are actually the first for God. A Catholic family like any other, Sandra Sabatini was born in August 19, 19, uh, 1961 in Racioni, Ramini, Italy, being the first of the two children of the marriage of Don Giuseppe Sabatini and Doña Agnes Bonini, both pious Catholic. Today, her brother Raffaele Sabatini works as doctor at the uh, Cesarini Hospital in Racioni. Sandra lived her early days in the parish house of San Girolamo, where her uncle, who was the parish priest, had welcomed her family after they moved from Misano Adriaco. God does abandon anyone. In 1972, the little Sandra began to write at the Spirited Diary, uh, where she captured her thoughts inspired by the love of God which was growing rapidly inside her. The following year, she met uh, the servant of God, or Estebensi, the founder of the Pope John Paul uh, 23rd community at one of the meetings organized by the uncle and the parish. In the summer of 1974, encouraged by the community, she participated in the promise to help disabled people. That experience transformed her field um, her with enthusiasm and lead her to exclaim those inspired words that and that identify her today we have broken our bones but they are people we uh, will never abandon what wonderful words those were not words that were carried away by the wind around in 1918 the young woman began her studies at the faculties of medicine at the University of Bologna. She wanted to, um, to make her profession as a channel through which she could reach the love of God to the abandoned. Then came two more summers, 1982 and 1983, in which Sandra was committed to her community and assistance and accompaniment to the people with drugs addiction. They were days in which she got up and uh, down to pray in front of the blessed sacrament and then attend the Eucharist. Her youthful spirit also led her to participate in the choir and choir and learn some piano. At the age of 20, in the middle of the carnival and festivities, she met Widow Rossi, who would soon become a boyfriend. The friendship between them and the love of Christ they share filled her heart with dreams. They planned to get married and start a holy family and embark on the adventure of the medical mission in Africa. Wonderful! Unfortunately, those dreams did not come true in April 29, 1984. Sandra Sabatini suffered a serious accident at the precise moment she was getting out of the car she was in. She was hit by a car coming in the opposite direction. Sandra was preparing to attend a meeting of the Pope John Paul 23 community. Every minute counts to love. Blessed Sandra Sabatini has been defined as saint every day. There was no great event that surrounded her life, only her greatness measured by the love given. In a prayer greeting in 1982, the blessed wrote, Lord, make every action of mine determined by the fact I wanted the good of young people. Every minute is an occasion of love that must be taken advantage of. On March 6, 2018, Pope Francis approved the decree that recognized 
the heroic virtues of Sandra Sabatini. On October 24, 2021, her beatification ceremony was held. That day, there was a procession of uh, the relic of the new bless carried to the altar by Stefano Vitali, former president of the community of Ramini, miraculously cured of a serious illness through the intercession of Sabatini. Wow! The relic was a bit hair saved by her boyfriend Guido placed in a candy box that Sandra herself once decorated.